So, hello everybody, my name is Warren Isaac Beer from Barry Science Labs and a laureate of the Da Vinci Institute. And today, I just came up with something in calculus class. So, it was like one o'clock and I was, uh, my mind was wandering off the basic tricks. So, instead I was wondering about Pythagorean triples. If you don't know what Pythagorean triples are, they are when you have a right triangle and every single number is a whole number for the side lengths. So for example, three, four, five. So there is also a slightly bigger one, uh, five, 12, 13. So I just found my own way to calculate uh, the next type of Pythagorean triple. So, first of all, what you do is, uh, what is the difference between one squared, two squared, three squared, four squared, and so on? Well, that's always gonna be an odd number. Three, then five, then seven, actually, yeah, it's three, five, seven. And then this moves on to 9 for 5 squared, and you get the pattern. Also, something neat to realize is that 5 squared minus 4 squared, what is 5 plus 4? 9. 4 squared minus 3 squared, what is 4 plus 3? 7. 6 squared minus 5 squared, what is 6 plus 5? 11. So that's something really neat. I'll see if it works for other ones, like 7 squared minus 5 squared. It does not give you 12, but still. Okay, so now here's the main thing. If you have the square of a prime number, like 3 squared, 5 squared, 7 squared, or 11 squared, those uh, odd prime numbers are the only ones that work for this. Why? Well, because, first of all, all the spaces between every single uh, square it are uh, growing odd numbers. And also, remember that if you have um, a tri <clears throat> Pythagorean triple, then the second biggest side will always be minus one of the biggest side. And now, just now, I'm coming to a realization. If we take four and five, the two biggest sides here, and add them together, we get nine. We take 12 and 13, we add them together, we get 25. And if we double up the size, so six, eight, 10, for example, we add eight and 10, well, that doesn't necessarily work but you multiply it by two, which is the scale factor, and you get the square of six. All right, so nine is three squared, 25 is five squared. So what's the next in line? Well, oh goodness, have to think about this. So what are the squares of prime numbers? Well, we have three squared is nine, four and five, 5 squared is 25, 12 and 13. 7 squared is 49. So we have to find two consecutive odd numbers that add up to 49. And that's pretty easy to do with some basic algebra. So 49 is 2n minus 1, 2n is 48, n is 24. Actually, no, n should be 25 in this scenario. I should have added one to both sides. So we are taking 24 and 25 for our next one. So the next Pythagorean triple would log logically be 7, 24, and 25. And let's see if it actually works. What is 25 squared minus 24 squared? Well, I can do 25 squared at the top of my head. Uh, I'm going to try doing 24 off the middle of my head, uh, 24 times 4 is equal to um, 96, 
and then 96 plus 480. Uh, 96 plus 480 is equal to 576. That was about right. So there was a difference of 25, and then 24 becomes 49, which is 7 squared. Voila, it works. And then 11 squared. I can calculate the next one as well. So what we have to do, find two numbers with a difference 121. And to do that, we simply do the same thing we did here. We have to see if these add up. Okay, so 121 is equal to n plus n minus 1. And we just undergo the regular procedure. And we get n is equal to 61. So that means that we have 61 and 60, which both add up to 121 as our side lengths. So the next biggest would be 11, 60, 61. And does it actually work? Well, let's see. Also keep in mind that the differences between squares are increasing on numbers. So 11, 60, and 61, well, the 60 squared is pretty easy, but 61 is a bit harder to do off the top of my head, uh, and I don't want to waste time doing it in my head, so back to regular multiplication it is. So, 1, uh, 7, and then we have 3, 7, 2, 1. What is 3, 7, 2, 1 minus 3,600? Well, it's 11 squared, 121. So as you can see, this works for every single Pythagorean trip. Not for the multiples now, but that's uh, easy to calculate the multiples. So thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next